Singapore has one of the hardest motorcycle licensing systems in the world, requiring three years of lessons and tests to reach the highest tier of licensing to ride all motorcycles. Compare this to most of Singapore's neighbouring countries where licensing and enforcement is far laxer. Even licensing for cars in Singapore is far easier than it is for motorcycles. Singapore traffic laws are far stricter and well enforced. Many riders in motorcycle majority cities around us buy them as cheap, practical alternatives for transporting families and goods. In Singapore, this is not allowed for safety reasons and drive down the perceived practicality among many. Singaporeans are culturally risk averse in all aspects of life and would prefer safer alternatives in cars and public transportation, even if they were either expensive or slow and uncomfortable respectively. Individuals that do not have a strong passion and a personality considered outside the norm would not risk injury due to riding. Singaporean value systems prioritize wealth or at least the perception of wealth. Cars are expensive in Singapore and is thus a status symbol and Singaporeans both with and without means are more than willing to buy one over a motorcycle if they can only choose one.